What's up everybody, it's me Denshi, and in today's video I want to show you a fantastic little piece of task management software called Task. Uh, so by default, if you run Task in your terminal, you'll be greeted with the unfortunate reality that you have absolutely no matches. And the reason for this is because Task acts a lot like a search engine by default, so running it will just list all your tasks, and then you can run Task like, I don't know, everything that's tagged with Linux, and it will show you everything that's tagged with Linux. We'll get into tags and due dates and names just in a second over here, but I just want to let this be clear to you. When you're running task, all it's really doing is it's looking through your list of tasks and it's acting like a search engine. So let's take a look at actually creating a task. You can run task add, and then the name of what you want to do, like install gen2. Uh, and then you can add a due date by typing do and then colon. And then right after the colon, you can type, say, EOW for end of week or EOY for end of year or EOM for end of month, EOD for end of day, I think. Uh, I don't know if that works. You can do like 10D for 10 days, 5D for five days. And you can also add tags by typing plus and then say, I don't know, Linux, because Gen2 is Linux related. So running enter over here, it will tell you it created task one, and you can run task, and it will show you that list of tasks, and right there, there's install Gen2. The first thing you'll probably notice over here is, why is install Gen2 red? Why is all of this entire row uh, in our task list red? That's because the urgency over here, which is 7.31, I think once it's above five, everything turns red. And that's because the due date is in four days, which is quite soon. And so task, rightfully so, will put that right at the top of your list and it will make it red and really obnoxious so you remember that you gotta do it. Uh, and so that's one of the features in task, it's urgency. Urgency is calculated based off a bunch of factors like the tags you add, you know, when it's due. I'm gonna put a link in the description that shows you how Task Warrior actually calculates urgency. Uh, but let's get into more interesting and useful things for us right here. So for example, let's say we're done installing Gen2. We can type task install Gen2 done. Now I'm going to break this command down for you because this may not seem obvious to most people watching this video, what I'm actually doing here. When I say task install Gen2 done, what I'm really doing is I'm searching my task database. I'm going through my entire task database and um, I'm searching for install Gen2. So I'm searching for any any task that has the word install Gen2 in it, which in this case, there's one over there. And I'm gonna say that it's done. And so remember, task is a search engine. By default, if you run task install Gen2, it'll just show you that install Gen2 task. But running task install Gen2 done will mark all of what it matches as done. So running task again, as you can see, it's blank. It has no matches. You're once again at no matches uh, because you're done with that task. Now, one more feature I want to look at in task just before we're done over here is something called projects. So projects are very useful if you need to keep track of lots of tasks at once. And let's say, for example, I'm making a big video. So I'm going to say task add, I don't know, uh, write the script. So you write the script for the big video. To help keep tabs on the actual progress in the video, I can type project and then colon. And right after the colon, the name of the project, I'm just going to say video, for example and running enter over here, it will tell me that it created task one, but it will also say that the project video has changed. More specifically, it's created the project video and it's now 0% complete, one task remaining. And once again, if we run task, we can see that task, we can see what project it's part of, and by default, tasks in a project with no due date have an urgency of one. So let's say we want to create another task that's part of that video project. We can say task add, I don't know, uh, record the audio, you know, the voiceover I do for my edited videos. Uh, and then I can say task add, and then I'm gonna say project, and then once again, colon, right after the colon, video. So that will create that new task and assign it to the video project. And over here, I'll get a different prompt. It'll say project video 0% complete, two of two tasks remaining. And just to illustrate this better, I'm gonna add another one, so task add, I don't know, edit the footage or something like that, you know? Um, and that's gonna be part of the video project once again, so project video. So now we have a project called video and there's three tasks assigned to it. That's all well and good, we understand that. Um, now let's see what we can do to get it done. And let's see what task does when we say complete one of those tasks. So let's say we're done writing the script. You can type task one done. So one is the ID of the writing the script task. So just running task one done, it'll mark it as done. But you'll also get a separate prompt here. Not only will it mark it as done, it will also say project video is 33% complete. So it will give you the progress and how many tasks are remaining, in this case two, on the project. 
And this is very useful if you have, say, an essay due, whatever, what have you. You can have a bunch of tasks set to it, and as you get them done, it will tell you you're 50% complete, you're 45% done, you're 33% done, stuff like that. You have this many tasks remaining, and that's very useful. And once again, you can also do task project video done. And that will basically mark every single one of those tasks as done. It will ask you for confirmation. Uh, you can just type all or yes individually. And over there it says, yeah, project video is 100% complete. So yeah, that's pretty much it for task. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been Denshi as usual. I think this is a fantastic, useful piece of software. And I totally recommend it to anyone who's in school, work, what have you, using Linux and you want a cool software to manage your assignments, you know, your essays, what have you. And yeah, goodbye.